Welcome to the Johnny Plays Golf Channel and today I'm going to talk you through every shot of a three handicap golfers round. I've done this before on the channel where I've explained my strategies and my course management tips for every stroke taking you through every hole but today the difference is I'm at a brand new golf course that I've never been before. So is it going to be harder because I don't know the course at all or is it going to be easier because I don't know where the trouble is. There's a pond there. Oh, didn't know that. Just smashed it over it. Who knows? Let's see how this goes. I'd love to beat my handicap and ideally break par. Let's go make some birdies. Let's go then. First hole, 387 yards off this tee. Into the wind as well. No out of bounds right, so that's handy. So I'm just lashing driver. That's going to be the order of the day, I think. Simply because if I can get this club working, we'll shoot a good score. Or should, anyway. It's a bit of a healy dan to begin and up the right hand side. I mean, it's safe enough. Oh yeah, that's absolutely fine. Just hope I don't lose it amongst all the range balls. Happy with that as a start. Get myself underway, hit a lot of drivers where possible and try and make as many birdies as I can to counteract to the bogeys that are pretty much inevitable. <laughs> Decent enough drive, I've missed the fairway, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. I'm into the wind, I've got 155. I'm perilously close to the driving range, which is a tiny bit scary. I've got my 165 club, which is a seven iron. Definitely want to err on the side of left here because it runs off quite significantly. So I'm aiming at those metal fences and just trying to hit a straight one. That was a nice strike, that's straight where I aimed it. And it looks like we're putting. I'm delighted with that early. I would say a very good thing to know, especially if you haven't had a great warm up, is that you're not going to hit it as far as you would normally. So a bit of extra club would not go amiss, especially considering I've hit a club that should be 10 yards long of the flag. I'm more like 10 yards short. So a good decision in the end. Practice green was quite slow. This is not really one to race at the hole. It's uphill and a lot of left to right. So a good two putt is the order of the day here. That's firm. Oh, wowza. Didn't expect that, that was sharp, much quicker than the practice green actually. Well that's very nicely tidied up though. Bit of a nerve wracking one to start with but four on the scorecard and I'm very happy with that the way that I've been starting my rounds recently. Well that's a testing first hole out of the way and I'm delighted with the four to be quite honest with you. And there's our first sort of view of one of the three peaks. Adorned in cloud, but looks cool. Right, same direction, straight into the wind. 511 yard par five. Gonna be playing a lot longer. Uh, trouble definitely lurking right, that's OB. Hopefully those stakes up the left aren't Y either. So I'm aiming just left of centre at the edge of the trees and try and hit a straight ball up there and that should see me into a good position. Beautiful. Could not have hit that any better if I tried. Doesn't look like it's gone very far however, but it's right in the middle of the fairway. And that is two for two on the good drives. Not quite found the middle of the face, but it's irrelevant as long as it goes straight. Let's go try and get on this in two, shall we? I can confirm that that's Ingleborough over there, but let's concentrate on this, because this is daunting. You have the benefit of the flyover, which I haven't seen yet, and it's very windy now, and there's OB right, and a pond left, which I need 175 to clear, so I've had to go for the hybrid. And I'll be honest, I'm not really friends with him at the minute, but I know that struck well, he'll get over there and I don't want to go OB and it's open after that according to the, the watch that I have. So I'm going over the corner of that and just smashing this. No chance of getting there, I'm afraid. Oh, 
Oh, maybe we are friends. I have nailed that right at the corner of the water. That should be good. Still have a wedge in, but I'll take that all day and every day. That's honestly a huge confidence boost for me. I've hit some good drives already, and that hybrid was amazing. Although I've literally only just carried the water here. It's perfect now. Just have to remember that going forward, especially the way I've been playing recently. I've had bogeys and doubles early on, so if I can avoid that, I'm on to a winner. I've got a lovely opportunity here. It's 70 yards playing 66, but it's into the wind, so about 70 yards, and all the green looks to slope away from me. So if I'm a little bit past, that's absolutely fine. So if I play 70 yards, it should roll a little bit. Got to go a bit, I think. Oh, it's taken a firmish bounce, but it looks like there's a little ridge that I've missed. So it's going to be a tricky putt, but it's a birdie putt nonetheless. Well, it might not be the perfect bright day, but that is some backdrop. I can't believe I've actually walked all three of them in a day either. That's quite an achievement, actually, especially with my injury record. Anyway, um, this is a tough one. There's a ridge in the middle of this putt, so it's going to be quite quick, especially in the second half and a fair bit of left to right. I feel like I've got a reasonable look at the greens, but then again, there wasn't anything like this on the practice green, so who honestly knows? Uh, good pace, just a little bit low. I like seeing it go a foot past, so I'll take that as a decent putt. And a tap in five, that's a long hole. Like, I'm a decently long hitter, and I had no chance of getting there, even if I'd have hit three wood. I'll be honest, I'm horribly biased, but this is one of the most beautiful places in the world, the Yorkshire Dales. So the backdrop for this hole is absolutely superb. And it's a 260 yard par four, which I like the sound of, but straight back into the teeth. So I've got the chief. Definitely don't want to miss right. There's all kinds of room left. So I'm going to aim at the left edge of this green or over this little white broken tee in front of me and just try and hit a straight ball. If I can get this anywhere near the green, that's a win here. I'm not even sure I can reach in all honesty. That's nailed, but I've pulled it left. Sit down. Okay. Um, maybe driver was a bit much. That's going to be a difficult shot from there, but it was a good shot. Um, this is terrifying. The course itself is reasonably soft, but the greens are not. And I'm ever so close to peril. I'm two yards from some thick, rough and no backswing. And I'm not convinced I can keep this on the green, so I'm going way upstairs and just trying to bring it in as soft as I can. Down by the camera is actually not a bad shot because at least I've got an easy chip. That could be incredible. Please be soft. Oh no, it's not soft. Well, I talked it into existence, but I'm okay with that, honestly. Quite honestly, that bunker was staring at me, desperately wanting to gobble up my balls. So this isn't too bad. It's straight up the hill, pretty much. Let's just chip it in for a three or make a four and be okay with it. Yeah, that's good. I'm okay with that. Thankfully, my short game coming to the four. I tap that one home with my wedge, which I would not advise, but it's in the gimme range. So, a four it is. Right, what have we learned so far? Greens are hard. I think that's fair to say. Can't really get on the wrong side of them. And also, we've just smashed past 1,000 subscribers, which is a bit of a dream come true, actually. So thank you all for your support. And if you are enjoying these style of videos where I talk you through my shots and maybe give you some tips to help out your game, please consider subscribing, because it would really help me out. And we're on the road to oblivion. Right, 4-4, looks like a par 5, 480 
Can't see a great deal other than OB right, so let's just avoid that. Wind's off the right though, so that helps. It appears according to my watch there's also water up the left, so as far right as I dare, the wind should push this back a little bit. I'm going to aim right of centre and just hammer one. Driver's been good, remember that. Lost my balance a bit, but that is absolutely pumped, if I do say so myself. And surely that can't be in any trouble. But I have absolutely no idea. It looked amazing. Right, that was sensational from the tee. Got 290 out of that on these soft fairways, that's good. It's left me 170 to that flag. Downwind off the right though. There is OB right, but I should be able to carry the corner of that just fine. Don't want to miss this left, so I'm actually aiming at the further flag. I'm just trying to drift it in. I've got my 155 club. Probably just hit a three quarter. Well, I just pushed it a bit. It's coming down on the wrong flag. But it might actually get on the green. Oh yeah, I've seen it pop up. I'm happy with that. It looks to have drifted towards the back. But we're putting for eagle. And who could argue with that? Right, many things to consider. So, I very much try to switch off when I'm not hitting shots. So as I'm walking down the fairway, and then, once I get to here, I'm focusing again. And quite honestly, I've played this hole really, really nicely so far. I'm quite a long way away here. It's probably 45 feet. But there's not much for short. Could have rolled back quite some way. So if I can two put this, we're under par for the round. However, I want to stay in the present. Could have done without that guy swearing as I hit that. All right, not great. These things happen. Didn't actually turn at all, which is interesting. And yet again, I think I've misjudged whether it was uphill or downhill when it's actually uphill. Oh, it's delicious. Really pleased with that. Rubbish first putt, but great second putt. No pictures on the scorecard is the order of the day there. And we're under par for the first time. Great start. I am loving this. I mean, I just enjoy playing golf generally, but what a view. Now this hole, tiny bit daunting in that left is an absolute no-no. There's a little pylon just before the trees or the second set, just after this red post. That's where I want the ball coming down, but no further left really. It's about 285 front it's playing, wind's pretty much straight right to left, so I can luckily aim it up the right. That's nice, my goodness, that's staying in the air forever. It's definitely going to be right and probably just short. But as tee shots go, that's pretty much perfect, besides probably being in the hole. So I'm happy with that. How good are the views? £17.50 it cost me. And it was like a 50 minute drive for me into the Dales, so even that was fun. <laughs> I love it. Right, as you can see, I've had a chance to take a butchers at the green. There's a ridge just short of the flag here, which I'd like to get up. The problem being it'll be slippery if I get past it. So I've got like 40 odd yards, just want to land it maybe 30 feet short. Go left. Oh, that's way too firm. Ooh, this is tricky. Definitely don't want to go more than about a foot past. Just drop in the front. Oh, wow. That absolutely snapped at the end. I thought I had a chance, but it just slowed up at the very end. But to be honest, from there, I'll take two putts. It was the chip that let me down. But falls are definitely not going to hurt me. That's been and gone. Now we move to six, which looks like our first par three. Okay, Koki. Flag is 123, playing 118 but pretty much dead into the wind off the left a tad. Right is not the play. So if anything, want to miss towards that pylon just left of the flag. And I think I need 135, so that's a nine iron for me.
That's a great strike. It's just turned over to the left a tad. I saw it bounce. I think we're putting. It was a nice strike. Result wasn't spectacular. But I'm okay with it. I think we've got a birdie put. Unfortunately, that was a little bit of a mistake. But you live and you learn. Just a bit too much club. Maybe the wedge was the play. But I'm only just over the back. It's a relatively straightforward chip. But unfortunately, my chipping so far has been fairly woeful. We've got the old hammer hands. So let's stick this one tight. That looks all right. Went a bit right to left, but pace was very good. It's not a tapping by any stretch. Trust your line. Get out of my way, hoodie. Huge gust of wind, but that doesn't stop me. Putter is en fuego in Espanol. And that roughly translates to on fire. Let's go. That's a good up and down in the end from what should really be quite a straightforward hole. But they never are, are they? Well, I'm not excited about the walk up here. But I'm looking forward to hitting this drive. It should look cool on this backdrop. It's not even going to get hole high, I don't think. Downwind off the left, though. 307. I don't think we're getting there, let's be honest. Just aiming just left of the flag. Keep it out of those trees on the right. The wind should stop it from going left. No, Johnny. What did I just say about those trees right? My God, that's flown into them. Oh, boy. We're in peril, ladies and gentlemen. But we've been there before. And we'll find a way out, I'm sure. Well, I'm not actually sure, but we'll go find it. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take one's medicine. The flag's that way, but I have no shot. Did find a Pro V1X, though, so every cloud. Perfect. Now, I don't know if it's the view that's taking my breath away or this wind, but my goodness, almost makes making a bogey here worthwhile. Although I didn't know that massive gaping bunker was there, which is now in my way. But I think I can still land a shot of the green and get it somewhere close. Oh dear. Needless to say, I misjudged that a tiny bit. But why not just hold this? I've still got my car keys in my pocket, which I didn't realise. Don't need that in your life. Great for line. Just not spectacular for distance. <laughs> There's a lot of left to right, which I didn't need. Great putt. Genuinely just believed that home. Never even crossed my mind that I was going to miss that. And I didn't. Maybe that's the way to go. Right, that was a minor blip. But we're going to move on quickly. And I've got rid of the car keys, so that should help. This is 135 playing 121. Left is definitely no good all long. So I've actually got my 110 club. There's no trouble short right, so I'm going to try and roll it down off there. It's downwind as well. So I think a 105 shot is going to be plenty here. Can I hit my line? Let's hope it's good. Don't know what happened to that. That literally just disappeared. Thought I might see a bounce. And now I'm panicking. Well, that's a very unfortunate course management blunder. There's my pitch mark. It's very soft down here and kind of on an upslope. So not sure what I'd have done differently, but I just didn't know this was here. And um, my ball's covered in mud. I'm going to have to land it on the top of this hill. It's going to all feed down. This is a tough shot. But I'm up for the challenge, as should everybody. That looks good. Go in the hole. One time. Oh, baby. I feel like the karma has kind of evened out there because that was a bit unfair off the tee, but that is a gorgeous chip. 
Now I would never advise this, but you should definitely at least clean your ball and it's probably outside gimme range, so a putter was probably a better option. Thankfully it didn't require it, I'm a bit too lazy. But that's a very good par after where that tee shot ended up. Onto the last hole of the front nine. Level par two, I'll take that all day long. Now of course, I don't speak for every golfer on planet Earth, but I think sometimes people get too wrapped up in the golf itself and get upset if they have a bad hole, which, let's be honest, happens to everybody, even if you're Scotty Scheffler or me or anyone. So let's just take a moment to enjoy the fact that we're on the golf course, albeit you're watching through a screen, and just enjoy it for what it is. Let's be honest, things could be a great deal worse. Now we're on to the ninth and the last hole of this video before you get the next one next week. This looks weird, there's almost a right angle from right to left but a ditch on the corner. So I'm going to have to fathom this out before I actually decide what to hit. Come back to me and like and subscribe or I'll come to you. I'm just kidding. Okay, it's really time to focus here. I have El Capitan. It's 240 to get to the ditch on the right hand side, but that's not for me. I can carry it 250 and then it's 310 to run out on the other side of the fairway. So I'm going just to the right center of this tree and just hitting it hard and it should be fine. Oh, I didn't mean to hit a draw. It's just absolutely gone flying into that tree. That's not where I was aiming at all. <laughs> I'm worried now. <laughs> this is not recommended, but I'll take it. Uh, I've just stayed in bounds by like 15 yards and now we have 76 playing 79 to the flag. Not the cleverest of plays, but it's worked out. Let's make it count. I'm literally trying to land this about 70, I think. Looks nice. Yeah, pitched it just in the bank short of the flag and it looks like it's just held up, just grabbed its little tootsies in, but we're putting for birdie. However unlikely that may have seemed earlier. And do I deserve a bird here? Absolutely not. But will I take it? You bet. Ball's oscillating. And lines skew with as well. How many times? Ah, it only turned at the very end. I suppose that's okay in the end a level par front nine hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week for the back nine goodbye